नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं हूँ अनिरुद्ध आप सभी का रसिविल गुरु जी और स्वागत से स्वागत है आप सभी का मेरे चैनल में कैसे आप लोग हो ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ सो इन माय इंटरव्यू राउंड एंड इंटरव्यू सीरीज यू एक्चुअली आई इनवाइटेड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर लिया बट टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल पर्सन विथ मी एक्चुअली एंड शी इज नन अदर देन मधुमिता who has grabbed the highest package in uh, this year actually from IIT Bombay M Tech Environmental Engineering and the package as you know is uh, 27 LPA plus right if i'm not wrong right yeah yeah okay. so so this is actually the thing so a lot of people were very eager to know that what are actually the key points that had made her grab this job and many people also have this idea that in environmental engineering or environmental science and engineering people may not get this high kind of this kind of placement and stuff so she has broken that myth literally okay so again a heartiest congratulations from me thank you and uh, all the 15000 subscribers of my channel who are actually watching you over here and so definitely definitely drop a heart sign for this lady over here who are with me Who's with me right now? Okay, so firstly, uh, Madhumita, introduction, ho gaya. Okay, so after that, <laughs> <laughs> so after that, actually, you know, I oh, well, let's come to the point directly. Acha, can you also uh, tell mm-hmm. me uh, your your GATE score actually? I just uh, forgot to ask you this particular thing. You you remember that particular thing because you know the people are actually coming through GATE only. That's why. Uh, I remember the rank. so this particular thing but what whatever you know the situation was i just asked mm-hmm. her because because of this particular reason that many people they mm-hmm. you know, even even getting a very high gate score they may not get mm-hmm. a job as good as what she had got just mm-hmm. to prove this particular point because many people somehow link their rank their get score with uh, mm-hmm. the package that they are getting so this two do yeah. not have any relation uh, in between just to prove that point i've asked you yeah 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 can you please share for that she has uh, given get in es 546 546 right 546 like yeah. get no. score so you are understanding the point it's not about the get score right many people i have seen with even 700 800 900 get score may not have mm-hmm. grabbed this level of a job what she has mm-hmm. done right so kudos to you definitely so people the nation wants to know that actually what magic you have actually created in the interview panel definitely the people are very eager to know madhumita your hard work uh, your uh, your journey actually uh, that had impressed all the panel members in the interviews uh, and mm-hmm. they have offered you this beautiful job so let me be specific that what actually apart from your mtech curriculum you have done Uh, uh so when you are talking about apart from the curriculum so i'm not a very good student like as you already know my gate score it's not like i will be a bookworm so i'm yeah, not like yeah. a 10 point doesn't matter so <laughs> doesn't matter now okay yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's it's more about my internships and yeah. more about my extra curricular work and also mm. about my mtech project to mm. be precise mm. so uh, when we are starting from the internship i have started my internship journey right from the 2017 year mm. so from there i will have internship at least one one internship at least in, in, a, in a single year okay so mostly all this internship i didn't align towards biotechnology or environment i have always standard uh, in the area of data analytics so always you had that thing data. in your mind uh, from the very beginning yeah so so i i always had a impression that just biotechnology cannot be giving me a job yeah just biotechnology may not be giving me a best job so i always wanted to be in a line where my internship will be in a conjunction with a uh, bioinformatics or in a conjunction with python programming or mm. as you know so always all my internships are or in the line of data analytics so my first internship is in the uh, in the lucen rich bio that's a startup company so mm. uh, and then i have that day, that's where i have done my uh, analysis in, in in r programming and that's where i learn r programming also before that i didn't have any kind of uh, python programming or any kind of programming experience programming, okay mm. yeah after that i have uh, i got another opportunity to work in an mnc company dr reddy's laboratories mm. and uh, there i have worked very much inside the bio bio biotechnology firm so it's it's not like an analytics uh, kind of work it's more like a biotech uh, work so then there after i shifted to iit madras there i worked for more than 8 months uh, in uh, in in python so all this you are saying in, before mtech right 
yeah yeah before and obviously mm-hmm. so there i was working in uh, heart rate sensors and i was doing uh, python programming so yeah. my programming experience is all from only the internships yeah. then after that i i also had one more internship in iit bombay it's mm. uh, i there i was preparing it's called as umo, umo tech that's a company situated mm. in mumbai and there i have uh, a created course content for students who are uh, in the higher educations or also okay. in the secondary schoolings so there i have created a course book which is about a length of 3 uh, months duration uh okay. specific specifically for how to approach a research question and how Great. to actually uh give a research question yeah. so my internship experience is what i guess people ha- are are very much interested in and yeah the- so you know uh, people are also definitely will be interested in this fact that you know people have this particular thought also being an id student i also know that uh, there will be there is a huge pressure of study also you know assignment mm-hmm. studying and all these things so mm-hmm. that takes up a lot of time that consumes a lot of time mm-hmm. so how do you actually manage these two things like learning python and r which definitely have helped you in cracking the interview so well mm-hmm. and how you have um, managed these two things because you know and un- mm-hmm. as far as i know that uh, mm-hmm. until and unless you keep in touch with this particular things on a regular mm-hmm. basis people just forget this particular things right mm-hmm. Uh, especially when you are learning it new so uh, how actually have you dealt this two things so when when coming to the academics i don't mm. i don't generally study everything in the last minute or something mm-hmm. but i do do that every time but i have a backup like i have mm. a backup of my co- course content i i do take notes regularly in the class okay so great. when when i take the notes regularly in the class and i don't even if i don't study mm-hmm. the last one week of time is very much sufficient for me to mm. get through it. so but i do know the entire curriculum and what what it is about so i don't go and uh, just uh, study a specific question which is very important for the exam i mm-hmm. don't do that i i do study the entire thing, entire thing. how much ever i want i yeah. how much ever i can remember so mm-hmm. that's it so i don't really find more more amount about, about the marks and things so okay. only about the amount of knowledge i get because only the knowledge i get i can crack the interview very well or i can talk yeah. to any other juniors very well so that's the main motto of mine and uh, when you are telling about inter like other internships and uh, course work so when i was working in iit madras i was working from 9 to 5 in iit madras and after that i i went back to college and did the other students notes and yeah, yeah. studied in my home yeah that so that, that that's that's that you so have, you have done yeah that you have done yeah. before iit bombay right so when you have yeah. actually in iit bombay that was my question actually that you know you definitely while being in iit bombay also have devoted mm-hmm. your time towards python and r for sure right so when actually definitely. did you do this a- so along with studies so it was it was yeah uh, actually as, as i already told you my study part is very less so yeah. it's it's only the class time and yeah. my no staking time okay. only that okay. and after that i have devoted most of my time in in the mtech projects so yeah. my project is in satellite based study okay. so i by nature i have to always be in touch with python mm-hmm. okay okay so i so she has uh, that with... that's actually one of the points sorry to interrupt you uh, and actually you know yeah. definitely this this is one of the points uh, i also wanted to convey to all the viewers and students of mine that you know choose the subject choose the mtech project also carefully which is actually catering your demand uh, for this mm-hmm. uh, um, you exactly. know non core things actually as well so mm-hmm. that's that's really really very very good and uh, now coming uh, to the interview day the day actually the d day i will say so actually um, let's let's start with the resume definitely that's the first thing mm-hmm. the interviewers uh, see so what mm-hmm. special you have actually done that because i i what i have heard that you know your resume also played a very important role uh, mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. what actually was special about that Resume. So I wanted to ba- break the generic resume system that we currently have. To be yeah. honest, mm-hmm. I don't really like that specific format. Like whenever we see every resume, it's like having this format. It's over there. Mm-hmm. The other things are over here. I don't want that to mm-hmm. be in my resume. So I, I added a very unique uh, element into my resume is that adding uh, recommendations from other big. Um, uh like some renowned uh, persons T- actually yeah yeah some T- tls or some directors mm. are those persons who i have worked under so i have okay. done internships and in, in in various uh, industries so i mm. have uh, got the re- recommendations from them mm. and those things will be there in my resume okay. uh, so that is a, that is a very good uh, very unique element in my resume i can say yeah. and after that in in my resume mostly you will have the um, 
um everything will be quantified so yeah. whatever the bullet points i have i have done it will be quantified and it and the bullet points will not be more than a line so okay. and the color 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 i have used and yeah. the amount of bold bolded letters i have mm-hmm. used so whenever a, a interviewer sees the moment he sees first page he will be impressed so yeah. that's the amount of uh, work that we have to put in the first page okay. so i can even share that with you so yes 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 thank you thank you uh, definitely madhu for that so i will also share to the other people the students actually mm-hmm. uh, so that uh, they will also get to know about this uh, particular mm-hmm. thing and coming to uh, the uh, questions uh, the direct questions mm-hmm. that you know the interviewers have asked two two three things i will ask you regarding this mm-hmm. um, that is uh, did they directly ask you only from those uh, non core things that is the programming languages that you have learned or uh, you know somewhere down the line that is the mtech project or something mtech related things also they uh, asked you something related to that what actually did they ask so so basically the question will be very straight forward and it will be very generic so for example what is your big story in your life what are your mm. strengths what are your mm. weaknesses mm. so uh, how you have handled a chaotic moment something which there was a chaos between your your manager or your professor and you how mm. you have managed that mm. so these questions are very generic it's mm. up to you whether you are linking it to your personal mm. experience or to your uh, Uh, academic experience so i have uh, noted down few academic experiences of mine and few personal experiences of mine definitely which was have, very much important in my life and you have prepared yeah. this definitely beforehand well yeah definitely uh, yeah definitely. generic questions ha- at least I, yeah yeah i have i have remembered what are the what are the important milestones in my life to be honest yeah. those things you you don't have to essentially like memorize everything but yeah. at least you should know what kind of um, A word that you are going to use it like for yeah, example ninety percent seventy percent efficiency or how many mm-hmm. persons you have trained under for example even I have used my TA ship experience in the mm-hmm. interview so okay. everybody here have done TAs right mm-hmm. so even I have used that so every every small things or big things it doesn't matter but the the amount of output that you are going to present it to them that's what yeah exactly so. And uh, regarding the programming languages, uh, did they uh, ask any particular question regarding from those? not really they were they were interested about my approach yeah they are, they are not interested about how i have used that programming they, they are mostly like what is your output and how it is helpful and how, how your thought process was to get to that for example as you are an environmental engineer hmm. you should know the ozone layer hmm. uh, the ozone should be increasing in the afternoon and should be decreasing in the night hmm. but in my data it was actually opposite hmm. so this so way you can actually, actually yeah uh, how how you are telling it to the, to them so this is this is how i did my python programming and to clean the data so yeah. and while i was explaining it it was very much for example in when you are when you are explaining a very difficult or uh, jargonized words mm-hmm. it shouldn't be more uh, difficult for them to understand yeah it should be very easy for them easy easy and lucid way actually you have to present yeah, it before exactly. them yeah exactly so and actually they were uh, you know as you were saying i think they were just putting you in a particular situation right Mm-hmm. and they were asking questions regarding that yeah right exactly yeah. so yeah that's all actually and uh, definitely uh, if you people also will be having any questions please drop in the comments uh, and definitely i will ask uh, madam also <laughs> to answer this particular things and uh, also you know i will learn something from her and how to answer those questions <laughs> and all these things so definitely my humble suggestion to everybody is just watch this video till the end because we have been enlightened so much regarding what was this things actually and how she had managed both these things and uh, what was actually the interview process and uh, where finally which led to such a wonderful job that she had got and definitely definitely most important thing is this job yeah i think you were placed in india only right Yeah, it's in India. Yeah, it's in so, Gopal. Yeah, so so you are understanding the point that in India, because normally this kind of packages from this kind of departments, uh, normally people are placed outside the country, right? Mm-hmm. And on mm-hmm. that occasion, the amount of you know uh, the uh, revenue, the amount of money that they mm-hmm. get is actually very less compared to what is uh, written over here in terms of Indian money and all mm-hmm. these things when they do the conversion. Mm-hmm. Matter, I don't know exactly, but she is in India. and she has grabbed this job so kudos again and uh, definitely definitely i uh, this this video is also very very helpful and uh, motivating for especially my female students also 
you know who uh, uh, sometimes just think about this particular things that should i go for higher studies will i get a job or something like that mm-hmm. and uh, also there is a marriage pressure and all these things especially on female students mm-hmm. in many parts of india yeah. i have found this so definitely definitely uh, i think this this uh, uh, interview or this particular small session will help them also to break the barriers to some extent okay so thank you uh, madhumita uh, for thank you sharing uh, your experience with us and giving me this kind of time ki bahut badi celebrity hai basically kyunki iski 15 minute lene ke liye mujhe lagbhag ek hafte wait karna pada okay and after that i've got uh, 15 minutes okay so thank you both of you and definitely guys uh, like share and subscribe and definitely whatever your doubts are please feel free to comment in the comment section take care thank you everybody yes thank you